Okay, welcome back, welcome back. So is this, is this simple or what? This is so simple, it's frighteningly simple. Now, the next tag we'll do, of course, will be the sitenav tag, which is this guy right here. Now, this is gonna be a no-brainer. We're just gonna basically make it 100%. So by default, I just wanna share with you, by default, notice it doesn't have a width, because by default inherits the width from the parents, from the parents, which in this particular case was the wrapper tag. So to keep consistency here, I could just go ahead and make that 100% and hit apply. So that was kind of a no-brainer. That was a simple one to do. Make a change, save a change. Now let's move over to Newsbar. So again, now how I have my CSS laid out is exactly how it appears on the page. is exactly how this is written. This way it's very simple to go make changes to it. Then any kind of sub-rule is part of that div tag. So as an example, I have site nav followed by unordered list, followed by unordered list item, followed by the anchor tag, followed by the hover. That's how it should be set up. Incidentally, this up here is not just a series of images next to each other. This is also part of an unordered list, and that's proper formatting. That's the professional proper way to build a website. Okay, so we're going to go into news bar. So let's double click news bar and do the same thing. So the category of box, and we're going to take this number, and again, whatever that says, whatever number that happens to be. Now, when this site was built, and I just want to share with you that this is not 175 pixels wide. For those of you that are new to Dreamweaver and don't understand this, this is actually 175 pixels wide plus 10 pixels on the right and 10 pixels on the left. Okay, so I had to minus that information to get down to 175. So very important step, if you're building this from scratch, you always have to deduct this, you have to take this number and deduct your, your, your width of your height. So you have to deduct padding, margin, or border if you have to use a border. Okay, so I just want to be very clear about that. So we take this number again and we say divide it by 960, the arrow key to the right of that, and times by 100. The times by 100 guys just moves the decimal point over, that's all it does. And then of course we want to make sure that's in percentages. Then again, I'm not concerned about the top and bottom, I'm just concerned about the right and I can say, in fact, if I want to be totally lazy, remember I can just paste, because that's what it was from the previous video. See? Thinking, thinking, thinking. So that I just do the percentages, boom, tap down to here. Now this is going to be different. So I'm going to take that number, divided by 960, take that number and times by 100. Again, the reason I'm timesing by 100 because I need to move the decimal point over to percentages. And again, I can just type in the percentage and then hit the tab key. So if I the apply option, notice that didn't change. It did not change. It visually looks exactly per pixel perfect, exactly percentage perfect in this particular case. I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. It's really, really that simple. And I guarantee these are techniques you haven't seen before. I teach techniques that yeah, I every program I teach, whether it's Final Cut or Illustrator, I have I have 26 years of doing this, guys. So if you really are serious about learning this stuff the right way and making money with your skill set, then you should be basically going to my website, udemy.com forward slash think, learn, earn, and learn how to do this the right way. udemy.com forward slash think, learn, earn. Okay. Now, from here, I want to go to the, well, let's actually go back up to the, um, well, actually, the more I think about this, this should technically be up here after site nav. So basically site nav was built before news bar and then main content. So I just changed that. So I'm going to double click main content and go to the box. And again, it doesn't matter what number this is as long as you know your parent container tag, your home free. That's just the percentage of that. It's really this simple. I really want you guys to get excited about this because you can make yourself a lot of money converting those old, tired, pixel width sites into percentages. So I hit the tab key, I arrow key to the right of this, and times that by 100. And, and just make sure this is converted to percentages. Okay, so the left here is going to be very simple because remember we did that before. We can just paste percentage. Boom. Now, if you want to be really clever, this is just two times that, so I can actually do this, watch this, this, times two. Now, if that hurts your head, what I just did, if 10 is that, then 20 is twice that. So I just took that number times two. 
Simple. I, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. And so any of my clipboard guys, see it's working smart. It's 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 genius. And if I may so much say myself, if I may say so myself, it's genius. I think it's genius. It's it's squeezing the sponge. So if I the apply option, main content stays exactly where it is. It didn't kick anything out of the box. Everything's good to go. Make a change, save a change. Let's double click down into features and let's go to box and the same drill the same thing now if i really want to do exactly the same thing i could have actually took all the information from the news bar because technically i made news bar the same but minus the color but we won't go there so let's just do this again as an exercise to simply divide it by 960 i then take that number and hopefully at this point guys you know the drill okay times 100. Boom, and then just make sure that that's percentages. I could then come down here again, and to the left, we're gonna paste with percentages, hit the tab key, and then to the right, we were gonna divide by 960. Well, actually here, we could do this. See, that's one and a half times, so I can actually just do this. That, again, fourth grade math here, guys. Simple, simple, simple. 15 is one and a half times 10, right? So I can take this number and times 1.5. Genius, genius, I tells you. Genius, I tells you. <laughs> so I just want you to have fun with this, but it's really, really, really this simple. And if you think it's this simple, it's because I'm making it this simple. Now, the only other thing we need to do, and this is a no-brainer, is to scroll on down to our footer and simply give footer a width. Now, again, footer by default doesn't really have a width because it defaults the width of itself. So technically, it's sort of kind of everybody is going to resize, but just because some browsers might get a little confused, we're going to actually make that 100% wide. So now if I save that and I go to my file menu and I go to convert, I'm sorry, convert, if I go to Firefox, so now I have a responsive design. Now, very important step here. The whole thing is basically going down to size, but one thing I haven't done is media queries, okay? Meaning that if I did get to this size, even though this is percentages, I certainly don't want, perhaps once I get to this side, maybe I want this to move to the bottom, or perhaps I want the font to be smaller. That's a whole other subject, that's media queries, and if I do have courses on that as well. So that's a very simple way to convert your once uh, pixel width into percentages and it was really really that simple now in our next video I will share with you my technique for converting your div tags to HTML5 friendly tags and it's going to be so simple again my whole way of teaching is to get the software to work for you think the way the software works okay once you understand once you start understanding and comprehending how the software works, all software has a theme to it, by the way. I don't care what the software is. If it's menu-based software, meaning that it's menus, either in Windows or Mac, I can share with you how to solve issues and get the software to work for you. So in our next video, I will share with you how to take our now newly created responsive design and convert that into an HTML5 document. So I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. My name is Robert Farrell. Copper, copper, I can't even speak. My name is Robert Farrell. Carpe diem, 2013 to all of you.